Hi guys, it's Panis Data Diaries with a new data um, use case for you, real life use cases, and um, trying to show you some solutions. So um, today we're looking at fuzzy search or fuzzy logic, fuzzy uh, string matching. That's the topic. So what is it all about? Imagine uh, the following use case. So you have got two different tables, and you want to merge them on a column uh, on a uh, common column, such as in this uh, demo cases here, we have data frame one and data frame two, both contain the column company name. And um, when you compare them, you will see that they are quite similar uh, names, but they're not exactly similar, such as we have Amazing Art Incorporated. And here we have Amazing Art, but there's a GNC over here, so that's just a typo. And we have Amazing Aunts Limited, and here we have Amazing Aunts with 2A instead of 1A. And um, also beautiful buildings with 2L and uh, um, capital T over here, whereas here it's written correctly. So this is a pretty common use case when you're working with real life data and um, you won't be able to match these one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So um, what do you do in these cases? Um, so fortunately, there's a solution for exactly this issue because you're not the only one having it. And um, what can you do? So um, it starts with installing a library. And this library is called, um, first of all, I can show you how to install a new library in, uh, in um, Jupyter. So this is also quite handy to have this ready. So importing the sys library and uh, the sys.executable um, dash m, and then just say pip install and the library is called fuzzy wuzzy what a wonderful name and um, i think i've already prepared it here so it says requirement satisfied but in your case it would install it now and you would have it available for data processing so um, now we load the library fuzzy wuzzy import fuzz and we also want to load fuzzy wuzzy the process uh, function or module. And um, so loading this right now, it worked, it's perfect. Ignore the, um, the message um, for now. And um, what you can do with this library is, for example, I can give you a demo case first. So we're using this process function and um, give it the extract one, meaning that it will only return the most likely match that it found. Uh, for example, I could say um, beautiful uh, build buildings, something like this. Uh, very rough match and then compare it to df1 to the company name column and see what it will return and as you see it returns beautiful buildings incorporated and this 77 is like the um, estimation so 77% confidence that this is the the correct match and the two over here just says uh, which position it is in the in the data frame so as you see here it's position two and um, that is the name that it found and identified as the most likely match in the data frame so that's great if we have this then um, we can of course run a uh, match and do it for the entire data frame for all the column entries in there. So to do that, I would just enter the uh, df1 and um, create a new column. Let's just say best match and um, typing ahead. So I would then load the uh, df company name column 
and apply the mapping function. So I would map, then use the, the lambda function, just give it uh, x as a, a random uh, variable here, or random parameter, and then I put in exactly this function, the process dot extra, uh, sorry, extract it is, extract one, Put in the x again that we chose for the for the lambda function, and then put in df2, and in here same thing, checking the company company name column to find the closest match, and afterwards I could even put in a zero here, meaning um, as you saw here, it returns this tuple but I only want to return the first entry of the tuple, which is the name. So I'm choosing the zero here to find the first tuple match and then return it. And um, it didn't return an error, so that's great. It did something. And then let's call it and see what it actually did. So, and as you see here, we got uh, the closest matches for all of the entries, which is really great. So amazing art found the closest match, which is amazing art GNC with a typo. And over here as well, like the two A's, no problem, finds it. Beautiful buildings, beautiful buildings. Um, also finding it clean communication, clear communication. So as you see, it uh, really identifies the best match in the in the given data set, which is which is great and will uh, save you a lot of work <laughs> trying to do these kind of matching manually. So hopefully this is helping you and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing you again next time.